This is Beyond the Big Screen Podcast with your host, Steve Guerra. Here is another Beyond the Big Screen teaser for episodes coming soon. I hope you enjoy and definitely tune in for the full episodes. If you want to learn more, you can head over to beyondthebigscreen.com. You can support Beyond the Big Screen on Patreon and Subscribestar. By joining on Patreon and or Subscribestar, you can help keep Beyond the Big Screen going and get many great benefits. Benefits include advertisement-free content, bonus content, and early access. The bonus content is great, too. I will feature outtakes from episodes and live streaming episodes. If you join at the executive producer level, you will become just that, an executive producer of Beyond the Big Screen. You will be able to develop ideas for upcoming episodes, help find great guests, and of course, have your name mentioned at the beginning or end of each episode. You won't just be a supporter, you will be a critical member of the team. Go over to patreon.com forward slash beyond the big screen or subscribestar.com forward slash beyond the big screen to learn more. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, send me an email to my email address, steve at a2zhistorypage.com, or follow us on social media by searching for A2Z History. I will see you next time. Beyond the big screen. All right, I think we're getting back. I got us a little off track here. I am completely, my allergies have been terrible. And then I got my first pair of bifocals yesterday. All right. What do I need to drink for when I can stumble around? (laughs) <laughs> they're in bifocals they're the transition so i don't have the line yeah so i have to keep looking weird at everything and try and find the right spot to focus uh, at depending on where the what i'm looking at is yeah i, I know exactly what you mean uh, i had the same thing when i got my multifocal lenses a couple of years ago the first time you put them on you go oh <laughs> and you really do have to learn to you know top for distant down for this and all that sort of stuff um nowadays in the house i don't wear glasses at all uh, but i've been wearing glasses since i was about six years old yeah I've, I've, i would have been about that same age yeah i kind of i i wish i had gotten just the distance which i think i could have okay. gotten that because i don't mind doing the shuffle yeah. <clears throat> and i think it would it makes things a lot easier Mm-hmm. They say that's worse for your eyes, taking the glasses on and off, but I don't buy that personally. Oh, okay. Well, actually, over the years, I found one of the things about getting old is that everything stops working. So I now have my standard multifocals, but I also bought a pair of near-distance glasses <laughs> and a pair of uh, far-distance glasses. The near ones are, are, are good because the whole lens is just near, so you don't have to... Mm. <laughs> peer through the tiny, tiny little area of the multifocals. But I found that the distance glasses, I thought I could wear them outside. I can't. Yes, they work for distance, but anything which is sort of um, closer than, you know, like this, you can't see. So if I get on a bus with my distance glasses on, my wallet is fuzzy if I take it out of my bag. It is really incredibly annoying. You had to shuffle through three different. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Three different lenses. <coughs> ah, never grow old, Steve. Die young. That's my recommendation. Well, I'm wearing bifocals. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm but, well on my way. Yeah. Do you do you find that they are helpful now? Or are you still? I'm still, I think I'll probably know more in a couple of days because I, what it's today. So, yeah, I just got them last oh, night okay. through this. Oh, um, okay. They have these mail order places. They'll send yeah. you frames. You pick out your frames and then you give them your prescription and they'll send it out. But the kind of the thing is then you don't know if they really did it. If you, they didn't do it right, then what are you going to do? That's true. I was my two extra pairs, one near, one distant. Uh, I got their mail order because they're so much cheaper than an actual optometrist. But I've heard twice now, and I don't know if it's self-interest, but people say... You should get your glasses from the person that gives you the prescription because apparently at an optometrist, your prescription is actually tweaked 
to their preferred manufacturer specifications. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So they're, they're aware because they know that the manufacturer will have his own little secret source recipes for making the lenses with slight differences. And they build that into their prescription. So no, I don't know if that's true. I mean, it could be just optometrists saying, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, 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 mail order, no, bad, 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 bad. You got, <laughs> you got to buy it from us. Don't know. When I got the, uh, when I got my latest, um, optometrist exam it was mm. i went to a place i went to a little storefront they bring me into the back and they're okay go in and i'm like well where's the doctor then the screen turns on and it was a person in florida i asked them i was huh. where are you they're in florida and she's operating the machine you know the machine <laughs> and it, it, really? It was a, it was a, a, like being in a sci-fi movie. <laughs> I don't think I would go back there again. I did not. I want the personal touch. So there's this big machine over your eyes, mm -hmm. and you weren't afraid that she might press a button and it goes bang. Yeah, bang. <laughs> because the person, the, the person who was actually there, she left the room huh. entirely, and then it's just this face floating in the because it's pitch dark in there and it's just a face floating on the wall it was that was very weird sounds a bit creepy yeah i didn't like that i didn't like that <laughs> i mean i've done tele um uh doctor's appointments even though the doctor is only uh 10 minutes away it's still easier to just do it sitting in my house but um yeah. i don't know that didn't feel quite as weird as going someplace and then I mean, what if it could have been a robot next time? Yeah. I mean, who knows? And particularly if there's machinery involved. Yeah, that was really weird, too, that she's controlling the machinery. No, I'd feel very disconcerted if there's if there's moving machinery involved and there's no one else in the room. And the doctor had no personality whatsoever, which mm. was really weird, too. Mm. So it really did feel like an AI.